Hello guys, I am Riga89 and welcome to my channel. In today's video I will show you how to remote play between your PS5 or PS4 and your Android device. As you can see I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi, but thanks to this app I can connect to my PlayStation 5 remotely and then using it normally as you would use it with the Wi-Fi connection and the stock remote play app from the PlayStation. So the application I'm using is this one, PS Play Remote Play. It's a paid app and it costs around $5. I will leave you the link to this app in the description of the video and on the first comment in the comment section. So in order to configure your routers correctly, you will have to do a modification on your console. On your PlayStation 5, go to the settings, network, settings, set up internet connection, press the option button on your Wi-Fi or LAN connection and then click on uh, advanced settings. Now you can modify these parameters. For the IPv4 address, you will need to enter an address that goes like this, 192.168.1. Another number, in my case, the number five. For the subnet masks, set 255.255.255.0 for the default gateway you will have to enter the same address you have entered for the router's configuration page in my case is uh, again 192.168.1.1 and for the primary and secondary dns you can select the google dns so 8888 and 8844 for the proxy server, select don't use, and for the MTU settings, select automatic, and then click OK. On your PlayStation 4, go to the settings, network, set up internet connection, and choose the Wi-Fi or the LAN cable, in my case I will use the, the Wi-Fi, select custom, and then select your internet connection select manual on the ip address settings and once again choose the ip address of your console 192.168.1. another number in my case the number four the subnet masks is 255.255.255.0 the default gateway is once again the same address you have entered for the router's configuration page. So in my case is 192.168.1.1. And for the primary and the secondary DNS, you can choose the Google DNS 8888 and 8844. Click on Next. Select automatic on the MTU settings and do not use on the proxy server. Once you have modified the connection on your console, you will have to enter your router's configuration page and the address is usually the one you see up here, 192.168.1.1, but I will leave you other addresses in the comment section because it really depends on your internet service provider. You will have to enter the username and the password, and you can find them on your router's box, basically. And then after the login, you will have to search for the internet section but uh, there is only one uh, one setting in the internet section so i can switch to the expert mode 
and uh, after that the internet section will have more settings and uh, now I can click on the port mapping and once you are here you can add a port mapping parameter and this is really not so difficult because you will have to follow the written guide of the official app in their in their site so just add the ports as indicated here so for example if i'm using the playstation 5 i will have to enter the udp port 9302 so i can just go back to the routers configuration page and add this port the last one press the add button select the UDP or the TCP in this case the UDP the device that should be the PlayStation 5 or if you don't have the PlayStation 5 select a generic device but enter the address you have set on the console so 192 168 1 5 if you remember and then select the port the port is just one nine three oops nine three oh two and again nine three oh two and then save do the same for the other ports but remember that you will have to enter every parameter written on the guide so for example this one is uh, both udp and the tcp 9295 so you will have to enter two ports not just one in fact the first two ports are the same but one is UDP and one is TCP the other ones are UDP 9296 which is the third one and UDP 9297 is the, is the fourth one so the fifth one the local IP address is different because I have two consoles so I saved all the settings for the PS5 but uh, if I modify them selecting instead of the PS5 the PS4 with the number 4 instead of the 5 I can use the PlayStation 4 unfortunately you can use only one console at the time so once you have finished all the port mapping save the settings now the last part is adding a dynamic DNS service which allows you to access your routers from uh, outside your house basically by using the mobile data instead of the Wi-Fi so you will have to search for the DDNS setting in your router's configuration page and select the provider if you if you have the noip.com provider this is a free uh, provider so i've chosen this one and then you will have to enter a domain name which is basically whatever you are comfortable with for example uh, house.ddns.net and the username and the password that you have uh, obtained after the registration on the noipprovider.com for example you, you can just search it on the internet noip which is a free dynamic DNS create free DDNS account 
and follow the instructions. You will uh, obtain a username and a password. So back to the router's configuration page after you have inserted all the parameters, save them. I just want to clarify something. The noip.com provider for the dynamic DNS is free, but it lasts only one month. So every month they will send you an email saying that the dynamic DNS is expiring. So you will just have to confirm the host name by clicking on the link in your email. And then select confirm host name now. And that's it. For another month, you can uh, use the dynamic DNS for, from uh, noip.com. So now it's time to open the PS Play app and add your console. So open the app and uh, go to the lateral menu and uh, click on register new PS5 or PS4. In my case, uh, I will register the PlayStation 5 and uh, I will just have to insert the registration number that can be found as written here into in settings since system remote play. So with my controller, I'm just going there, remote play, enable remote play and link device. And the registration number for me is 2718. 7780 register PS5. You will now have to enter your uh, username and password. And now you have uh, su successfully registered the, the console. If the app asks you this, uh, select no because we already have done the manual configuration by adding uh, the correct numbers in the port uh, mapping on uh, our uh, router's configuration page. By the way, up here in the profiles, you can select your console because uh, if you have multiple consoles like me, you can just switch between uh, the PS4 and the PS5. So. Now the PS5 is connected. And uh, if you are connected with the Wi-Fi, you can just uh, click on local connect. And uh, the connection is uh, pretty quick because uh, it's uh, really nothing special. Once you want to close the connection, just press the back button to terminate the remote play section and uh, tick this option if you want uh, to put the console in rest mode. In my case, I don't want it. So I just click yes. And uh, now we can turn off the Wi-Fi and click on the remote connect. You want to choose the manual connection and here you will have to enter the domain name you have set on uh, the router's configuration page and uh, you have ch basically chosen uh, on the noip.com site. So for example, myhouse.ddns.net. And then click on OK. Here, if the console is uh, in rest mode, you can click on wake and connect. But the, if the console is already turned on, just click on just connect. And now I can remote play without using the Wi-Fi. So thank you guys for watching. Please uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future videos and see you on the next one.